Last minute deal means a development project here in Indianapolis can now move forward. Plus, a new timeline for changes to Indy's fatal crash review board. And what's next for Indigo's Blue Line? Our Marion County reporter Lauren Costick tonight is breaking down the major moves at the City County Council meeting. I'll now call to order the City County Council meeting for Monday, February the 5th. At Monday's council meeting, almost every seat was full. Many coming to hear public comment about a controversial Northside project. It involves the former Willows Event Center on Westfield Boulevard. For years, developers have tried to turn it into apartments and townhomes, but neighbors fought back. Right before comments, the developer and neighbors reached an agreement. It includes a list of new commitments, like decreasing the project size. Let us go to the board for a vote. The council then approved the zoning petition. There should be a round of applause right about now. <laughs> I want to thank both parties for working literally up until the last minute during this meeting to try to come to an agreement. The council also passed three proposals. One of them will expand the city's fatal crash review board to start reviewing crashes with serious injuries. DBW is tasked with determining a process by July. The change will start next year. And a bill at the State House that could put an end to Indigo's Blue Line project is weighing on counselors. And unfortunately, a big community that I represent, the Irvington neighborhood, which is over a quarter on a population basis of my district, was unfortunately this year used as the ammunition for the bill. Last month, Councilor Andy Nielsen testified against Senate Bill 52, hoping those at the State House will listen. We are taking the concerns of individuals seriously, and I, I would just ask the General Assembly to you know, continue to listen to us on that and trust that you know we know what's best for our city. Hearing no further motions, we're adjourned. As for Senate Bill 52, it is currently scheduled for a hearing in the House on Tuesday after just passing out of the Senate last week. In Indianapolis, Lauren Costick, 13 News.